Now, the FDA asked food makers and restaurants this week to cut the amount of food they add to foods. Well, the goal is to go after the number one killer in the U.S., which is heart disease. So a local doctor came up with his own prescription, so to speak. Yeah, medical reporter Meg Ferris shows us the inspiration for a New Orleans creation. Kenneth McMillan loves to eat and make local food. I love flavor. I've been a chef at a lot of your local restaurants down in the French Quarter, so it was very hard for me, and it still is hard. Again, I'm fighting with it, but I know what I have to do to, for my health. He's fighting with changing his diet. He's got kidney failure. It was brought on by years of high blood pressure. His nephrologist, Tulane's doctor, Adrian Bodie, warns Kenneth and all his patients about too much salt in our diets. High sodium and high salt intake leads to heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, um, and it's a silent killer. And it's not just from the salt shaker. Pick up any processed food in the grocery that's in a can or a bag or a box, a bottle or a package, and it's loaded with sodium, partially because it increases shelf life. And look, even boxed meals labeled as good for you are still high in sodium. The problem is we just don't know what we're putting in our bodies. Most of us aren't really good at checking labels. But Dr. Bodie's patients complained. Food with no salt, they said, is bland. So a few years ago, he went to his kitchen with his father at his side. He was kind of my, my, my uh, test dummy. I kind of would just run things by him. And he would tell me, this is horrible, or this is too spicy. This is not spicy enough. And, it, and I kept playing with it until I got something he liked. He then gave it to his patients. And then those patients told me, it was like, Doc, you should sell this. And my dad, uh, unfortunately, he passed several years ago. But a week before, he said, you know, this low sodium hot sauce is the best idea you've ever had. The result is now his own line of no salt, hot sauce, barbecue sauce, and Italian dressing, complete with the New Orleans Crescent on the label. I would love to have a low sodium um, set of TV dinners, right? Where if you really don't have time, you could just grab, you know, this low sodium TV option. This St. Aug graduate already got an MBA and an MD, then started a food company. So it's likely that line of TV dinners is not far away. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. We're in. All right, Americans are getting 3,400 milligrams of sodium a day. 2,300 is recommended. And in fact, doctors say people with diabetes and heart disease should only get 1,500. So this doctor's no salt products right now are sold online only.